hi everyone welcome to my next video my name is Martin and today we're going to have quick talk about the mistakes that people usually do when do retouching and the things that you have to be aware of unfortunately I've seen a lot of Photoshop tutorials on YouTube that shows the bad examples I'm not going to say I was showing only good examples in the past um, I was doing mistakes, everyone do mistakes, it was long long time ago though and right now I want to tell you a few words about how to do retouching in the right way just few tips, few advices about the mistakes that people usually do there will be few mistakes, um, some of them you may know about, some of them you might heard of However, maybe for some of you, it will be new and you're going to know how to not do things in Photoshop. If you want to know more, if you want to learn advanced high-end beauty retouching in Photoshop, check the link in the description on Udemy. Uh, you can get to Udemy, as you can see, huge discount. Um, it's already with the discount, the link is already discounted. And get the course, you won't be really disappointed. I update this course over and over. There is seven hours of lessons. It's a really great deal, I believe. And you're going to get amazing techniques like even frequency separation, which I really trying to be careful, but you're going to get a lot of knowledge about Dutch and burn and try to retouching techniques. So, okay, let's go back into our talk. And let's start with the first mistake. The first mistake is, let's zoom this image a little bit more and I don't know where does it start but still many people is doing this, I'm not saying it's not really popular but I, I'm active on Facebook and I see many of friends of mine actually are sharing images and they are done this way. And the first mistake in Photoshop is blurring. As you can see, this is the retouch I've done before and I keep the skin texture still on its place. However, many people when retouching images, they think blurring the skin is something right. But what I'm going to tell you, it's not right at all. So I'm just going to use the basic thing, just Gaussian blur right now. And of course you could say, but there's other things, other blur techniques. None of blur techniques is good. Every kind of blur is actually wrong and if you're thinking about this, if you were thinking about blurring the image, just forget about this because it's not going to give you good results. I'm going to show you an example. I created this layer mask on this blur layer and I'm going to paint on it just to show you how the blur is going to affect your skin. I'm not going to do all of this. Because I don't want to waste time, I don't want to zoom this in, but just, just quick blurring this. And the funny fact is, I've seen even photographers who charge huge money in hundreds for their photographies, and they still are blurring out the skin. And often the results looks pretty much as something you can see right now on your screen. So you can see which results blurring is actually giving you and maybe you can see the difference between the good retouch and between the blurring. Of course we could do this blur a bit better but it doesn't matter because no matter how we do the blur it's wrong every, every way. So right now the skin looks soft however we don't see the skin texture. Remember when you do the retouch we need to keep the skin texture on the image, the skin texture need to be visible because that's something that builds the model and if you're going to blur this out it's not going to look well right now so as you can see that was before if we blur this it will look like this but our retouch needs to look like that what I recommend to practice dodge and burn techniques to get a really desired look and that talk is about, about quick fix. You need to know that retouching is not about quick fixes. We cannot retouch the image doing just a quick uh, retouch, just a quick fix in five minutes. Retouch is really time taking thing. So if we want to do the retouch in the really right way, 
yes, you're going to spend hours sometimes doing retouch, but that, that's how it works. We cannot do a retouch in five minutes. If, if you can, and if someone tells you they can, they're not going to do this right. The other thing, which is very common, let's go back here. Also, another uh, thing, and it's uh, super popular among not really experienced people that are doing blur, actually. They blur out the face, or let's say they retouch the face, and they leave other parts of the image. For example, th this is very common about the hands. As you can see, I have some rough hands here, some of the neck. So many people try to retouch the face, but they leave other parts. And I'm not sure where is the visual, visual sense of it, but I can notice this straight away and it doesn't look well. And I've seen many pictures when face is absolutely plastic soft. However, the hands are still very rough. So that's the second thing that you need to be aware of. Retouch whole image, face, neck, hands, legs and other body parts, whatever it contains. Everything needs to be retouched. And the third thing, which also has is super popular, and the thing that I don't understand is about wrinkles. I've seen a lot of examples of retouching of old people, of mature people, let's call them mature, we don't want to offend anyone, with mature skin. And the thing is, we don't want to remove the wrinkles. Remember, the wrinkles are character of this person. That's what builds this person and wrinkles contains the information and about, about experience and life of this person. We don't want to remove this. I really think this wrinkles looks really well. And this image is after very basic retouch. You can see that was actually before and that's after. I kept the wrinkles at the same place as they are. However, I just removed the wrong colors and the rough skin. But we don't want to remove the wrinkles the same as we did this before. Many people using blur and they soften the skin of the mature person. However, that's not the key. We cannot do this. Even though, even if someone don't do the blur and for example, want to remove the wrinkles, I just want to show you why is it not really great. I'm going to use Curve, brighten this up. That's how I remove wrinkles on some other images, really. I just brighten up the image. I'm going to press Control Command I to invert this, and I'm going to choose Soft Flow for the brush. And what I do, I paint inside. However, if you, as I said, if, if you have mature person, we, we don't do this because it's not going to, to look well. I'm just paint inside the wrinkles to brighten them up. So if you have really some soft wrinkles on the young person, you can work that way and try to fix this a little bit. But what you can see after this quick work that removing wrinkles from the mature people don't do the job. I'm just going to remove the few of them over here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So before, after, I totally prefer the image with wrinkles and with all these great characters. So these three things is something you need to remember. The wrinkles and blemishes is not something we need to remove. If uh, the person also has some really specific thing of the face, maybe think about keeping this. Maybe that's what built character of this person. I hope this quick video was useful for you and if you were doing some of these mistakes, uh, don't do them and don't look for the tutorials about how to smooth the skin or how to do a quick skin fix because these things do not exist. Thank you for watching. Remember to check out Advanced High and Beauty Retouching course in Photoshop. Uh, once again, I, I have a lot of uh, positive feedback, so I believe you're going to enjoy. You can always contact me about the course, ask some questions, and I'm always trying to provide you some information about this. Also, if you want like this, you have 30-day money-back guarantee.
So thank you and I'm going to see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.